Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nalu. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know how we do. So for this video, I'm going to tell you guys about skincare. Yeah, skincare. And I decided that when making this video, I wasn't going to just um, wash my face, stand there, show you the products I use. I wanted to just give you like um, in-depth information from the research I've been making ever since I started like taking care of my skin, taking skincare more um, seriously. So the first point I'm going to raise is like this is the most important thing guys. You need to know your skin. You need to know what your goal is when it comes to skincare. If it's acne, if it's discoloration, if it's dryness, if it's oiliness, you need to know what's going on before you jump into buying products. I know so many people who are like, they use products because certain skincare gurus taught them that this product works best, but then the way their biological makeup is and the way their genetics is, is probably way different from you. Well, not even probably, obviously, way different from you. So just relying on other people's thoughts and opinions and other people's trial and error, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really work. It doesn't add up. At the end of the day, you're going to have to know what works best for you. So um, before I start like breaking down the tips, I'm just going to talk about me, yeah? I'm going to talk about me. Um, two chemicals. I didn't say chemicals, two chemicals that I've made uh, a huge part of my skincare routine is, um, forgive me if I get the pronunciation wrong, but uh, like, I think it's glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid. These are like two things that I make sure, you know, no matter how broke I am, I'll find the coins to like have products that have these chemicals in, in them. So what glycolic acid pretty much does is that it breaks down like your outer outer layer, you know, including dead skin. And like for me, because what I what I try to correct with my skin is discoloration. Like I'll have patches of like darker skin, especially um, around like my cheekbone area and around my mouth area. So I try to like control that. And um, when I was doing my research, I googled what um, glycolic acid does and I felt like that's something that I needed like I just needed that outer layer to be broken down because my skin is usually naturally dry like I'm that person who like has to layer lotion oils you know <laughs> um, the lotion I use is Johnson's lotion the pomegranate pomegranate one and I usually put like coconut oil or shea butter on top of that and then with hyaluronic acid, it pretty much um, increases elasticity of your skin. I'm one person who's like dead ass scared of wrinkles. Like I know the time is going to come, but you know, if I can do something now whilst my skin's still gorgeous, I'm going to do it, yeah. Um, back in uni, I used to use a lot of uh, snail gel and aloe vera gel because you know, I was like, oh, you know, like the natural stuff, you know, like if I could find like a natural, remedy to deal with certain things i'm going to go for it so um snail gel you know it's, it's like good when it comes to like collagen production in your skin which is again like wrinkles that's yeah something that you know used to work well for me and back then i used to use a lot of um korean korean skincare products from miniso i think it's korean or japanese but from miniso so yeah like that was my go-to but when I, came, when I went back to Zambia I couldn't have access to those products I had to like find another way around and fortunately for me I discovered skincare Zambia and her soaps are organic that's one thing I love the most I use Kapaya and uh, black soap I don't I, I always forget like the full name but it's black soap it's the one in the black container <laughs> yeah uh, oh, it's not the black container but it's the black stuff in the yeah, I usually just order like the minis and I like to use this for my for my whole You know my whole body. so that's like pretty much on like knowing your skin like you need to study What products are working for you if you're like a naturalist like me you like to use more natural products more organic products 
research find out who sells that kind of product where you are and try them out experiment but then the thing is even in your experimenting you don't just jump from one product to the other to the other oh this isn't working two weeks this isn't working two weeks this isn't working ah oh, sis <laughs> you're going to end you're going to end up having like you know counter reactions to mixing so many different products and then at the end of the day you'll be like oh no this product doesn't work blah 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 you'll be throwing shade and then like come on it was you <laughs> it wasn't the product it was you you weren't patient enough to wait for the actual results that these products um are supposed to give you another important thing uh that i kind of neglected in the beginning is the power of sunscreen and spf um, depending on, okay, I feel like uh, the Nivea sunscreen is like everywhere. I think you can't miss it. That's like what's mostly recommended. But again, you know, it depends on your budget because sunscreen can cost you a lot if you are on a budget, especially you know if you are unemployed like me. <laughs> yeah, and you just have like different ways of grabbing money here and there. Yeah, it could cost you, but it's a really good investment. If you have the money at the time, don't feel don't feel a castle. Just like buy some sunscreen, especially you see like global warming, UV rays are everywhere. You can't run away from that, and that stuff could be really harmful to you in terms of you could get skin cancer. You could it it, it leads to premature aging. I feel like even some of the discoloration in my skin, you know, I kind of got that explanation like, oh, okay, I never used to use sunscreen, but now that I know of it, I include it in my everyday skincare routine. I feel like I should have made this video barefaced so that you, could, you guys could see, but like, I'm not wearing any foundation right now. I just have like some concealer under my eyes and I put on some blush and I did like a slight contour, but you know, I don't have any foundation on my skin and you know like I've got fairly good skin so I can't quite complain with how far things have come um, another thing that I noticed like uh, okay based on like Instagram and what people would say about what they're doing to their skin is like this whole culture of using makeup wipes instead of getting home and like completely washing your face I know some people get tired they have long days and like that's the quickest way you just get your wipes wipe the makeup off and you're in bed but like no you know because what's happening to your pores like yeah on the outside it looks like all the makeup is gone but most of that is clogged up in your pores and that's what leads to like breakouts and you don't really want that so ditch the makeup wipes some people say oh you should use um, I don't know there's that mineral water stuff that people use like with the makeup wipes I've never really tried that so I can't really comment on that but never miss the opportunity to just wash your face wash your face <laughs> uh, so I forgot to talk about exfoliating guys don't forget to exfoliate your skin another thing is that when you're washing your face like your face and your neck should be like one thing as you indulge in your skincare routine for me i actually say like your skincare routine should be your whole body because your whole body has skin <laughs> so like of course yeah there's some products where you know it comes in a small bottle you can't really like use it for like your your whole body but if you can you know you you should at least reach your chest area your chest your neck your face it shouldn't always just be about your face because you can't just get perfection around here you need the perfection everywhere honey <laughs> Yeah. yeah so yeah. pretty much always include your neck and if you can go as far as your chest area even your back if you suffer from back knee you must include those those products that you're using on your face on other parts of your skin because like you it's kind of strange when you see somebody with like flawless skin on the face but then when they wear like a tank top or something there's just a lot of other stuff going on here and you know if you are observe if you're quite observant like me you can't just miss such things it's like oh okay your skin is good and then you're like <laughs> and then there's just another story going on from the neck down mm. it's, it's not cute honey you need to like make sure everything everything is included um i think for my last point with all this is Like, we shouldn't forget that 
what we put inside reflects on the outside you know whether it's like your mind what all that stuff whatever you take in is going to show on the outside so you shouldn't forget that things like your diet your lifestyle choices if you're a smoker if you're a drinker all that stuff resurfaces to your skin I don't know why I, I think maybe somebody can like leave a comment as to why this happens but like I know some people like my young sister she doesn't eat peanut butter because you know she knows like she's got oily skin there's a lot of oil in the peanut butter and that stuff's going to like show on the outside she's going to break out and you know that other people who have several other things that they don't eat or just partake in because it affects their skin it affects the look of their skin so you know not to be cliche but drinking lots of water eating lots of fruits vegetables getting that nice that natural vitamin c those natural min minerals into your body it reflects in your skin as well people i can't believe that we are in an in a day and age where people will be like oh i don't eat vegetables or oh i don't drink water like how are you alive <laughs> you can't just live life without those things i think and you know when it comes to skincare and having goals as to how your skin wants to look you shouldn't neglect these things so yeah that was like my pretty brief video on uh, skincare um, if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment on something you feel like I missed or something that you feel like I misinterpreted and we can have a conversation in the comments below so yeah uh, that was it for me guys